So we're going to simmer that for at least 10 minutes. Okay, and then we're going to add more water. And then, of course, we're going to put the potatoes and the petra and spinach. And voila, you have um, ilaga or um, beef bone um, soup. Ilaga, or you'll add it later on because this will disintegrate it. It's you know it's going to be uh, all over the soup, right? Because uh, with bone, I make sure that I boil them slowly for the longest time. Okay, so you're not gonna want to add um, the meat without the bones. Okay, so you're gonna add that later, or you can um, saute it in a different pot and you just add it later. Okay, so we're gonna add. Um, Pet chai and then spinach, and I have frozen uh, chili. Uh, I can add one now. Uh, I always have frozen, they're from the garden summer. So, uh, oh my gosh, I swear. Okay, guys, so usually, if you buy um, meat that is not from a trusted place, right, or your personal butcher. Make sure that you boil it first, you throw it out. But you can see here, there's nothing really, it's really clean meat. Um, we make sure that we pick um, good, you know, meat and all that. Okay, so this is important. Okay, so bones are really important. Also, when you're making your dish, because it brings flavor. And I'm gonna add uh, the bagong now and, and the butter, okay? So, I'm going to be using this type of butter, salted butter, and of course, the bagong. So, it's boiling. If it's really like a hard meat, let's say um, beef, um, like the beef knuckles, I would put in a pressure cooker. Um, in this case, it's not really um, a challenge to uh, make this um, soft or manageable to eat and let's put it that way so i'm just making it to a boil for another 10 to 15 minutes and i'm going to be adding the potatoes okay well um i'm not using all of that i'm going to be using some for the adobo chicken adobo it's most requested in this household and of course these guys will be added on to it on later on Okay, but half of these will be with the uh, chicken adobo because, you know, my family likes some. Um... Oops. Okay, and don't forget to just, don't worry about, you know, the skin. It's better to include the skin. I have said it a um, million times with uh, regards to um, keeping the skin on and make sure that you just take off all that little dark spot. Right, and just an FYI, so <clears throat> if a potato, sorry about that, I'm not really 100% feeling today. So if a potato is sprouting out and it's rooting out, um, that's considered uh, poisonous. So we're not going to include that, or we're not going to try to cook that. But if you can cut some parts, like a big portion, because um, okay, so again, Make sure that it doesn't contain any of those little, but these are not sprouting out. They're so make sure we're gonna soak this with water, just like with the potato, then we're gonna soak that there for a bit. Okay, so they're really pretty clean, but you're making sure there's no um, soil residue, there's nothing there that. Okay. So I replaced the water and I'm going to be adding half. Like I said, I'm going to be using this half for the, um, the adobo, I'm sorry. So I added um, water. Okay, so I marinated this last night 
um, with soy sauce, vinegar, um, ginger, and garlic powder, and a sprinkle of brown sugar. I usually don't put the brown sugar um, with the meat, but because I uh, use like white vinegar, I just wanted to balance it, right? Again, with my cooking, I sprinkled them with a little brown sugar towards the end um, to balance the acidity or well, just the taste in general, okay? Okay, so I turn it around um, for the soy sauce, right? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be placing it in this pan here directly, okay? Since it's marinated. So if you didn't have time to marinate, marinate it overnight, you can saute the chicken so uh, with the same ingredients that I used. That way, um, sauteing it, um, it will seal in the meat. The flavor will actually seal in the meat. But this time, I marinated it. So there's no, um, you know, you can just put it directly. Oops. And bring that to a boil. Okay. So make sure that they are um, evenly because when it boils, right? Okay, so I added the vegetables. added half of the vegetables and now I'm going to be adding the rest. Okay. Okay. And we're going to bring that again to a boil. Okay, and that's it. Wait for that to boil and we're going to uh, check um, the chicken adobo okay we're gonna just let that boil we're not gonna stir it okay until um chicken is cooked okay and even the steam don't worry about that top part that right okay we're still bringing that to a simmer and for another 10 minutes we're gonna stir it Okay, and we're gonna add the potatoes, and I think and that's, that's all gonna be. So I'm cooking rice with it, okay, because you need to eat rice with a double. <laughs> okay. Smells pretty good. It smells like ginger and garlic. We're gonna stir it up. Er, you don't wanna really stir it. You wanna just turn it over so that the flavor will seal in the meat. Okay? You want the sauce to be tasty as well, but you also want the meat to be really tasty, okay? Because that's what adobo is all about. Okay, so I turned all of it around. Make sure that the end will also get that flavor. Okay, I'm gonna bring that to another boil for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna put the potatoes. Okay, while the rice is cooking, 
Okay. So I just added a um, sprinkle of brown sugar. 